Well, during a news conference in Orlando last week, Governor Ron DeSantis took aim at the many news reports saying that Florida has opened the door to book banning in schools. The governor said Florida doesn't ban books, but has allowed parents and others to object to certain material. DeSantis said some people have abused the process to score cheap political points. He called claims that Florida bans books a false narrative. Despite backing the bill originally, he now wants the legislature to change the language in the Parental Rights and Education Bill to limit how books can be challenged. Under the bill, which critics have dubbed the Don't Say Gay Bill, anyone, even if they had no kids in school, could challenge any book in any school library for almost any reason. We have to empower parents at the same time to just have random people come in who don't even have kids in the school system and just start objecting to things just to try to gum up the works, uh, that is not something that we should be incentivizing in this state. When a book is challenged, that book has to be pulled from the shelves, evaluated by the school district, and then will either be returned to the library or removed permanently, a costly and time-consuming process. The Republican-controlled legislature's own staff found that there were 1,218 book objections during the last fiscal year, resulting in the removal of 386 books. Under the law, picture books depicting penguins and bunnies have been removed. So have many classics of literature. Many teachers and school districts, meanwhile, have argued that the state laws are poorly defined, leading to confusion and fear about what is allowed in schools and what is not. Mike, this was one of the governor's top priorities a few years ago. Now he's conceding that the law is vague. It needs to be rewritten. What do you make of that? I, I agree with the governor. I think that it's, it went a little too far with, in regards to the books. Uh, we have people that are coming to school board members demanding this or that book be removed. Uh, they aren't a parent. They may not even be living in the county that they're objecting the book to in regards to that. We have school board members. They're elected. If a parent has a problem with a book in a school, in the school go to that school board member. If you're unhappy with the school board member, then you vote them out of the next election. But, uh, you know, the legislature sometimes goes a little too far. This time they probably did, and I'm happy to see the governor needs to wants to see some uh, some amendment to it. So, Janelle, the governor is, is is essentially saying that some people are doing this for nefarious reasons. Is there much evidence that people are trying to cause trouble, or is it more likely that it's conservatives that don't like book content who are challenging the books? Well, I think that depends on who you ask. Um, but I will say that the fact that the vast majority of these um, books that are being challenged are being challenged by just a handful of people. These are not like, you know, moms and dads who saw a book at their kid's library and have concerns about it. These are people that have an agenda. So whether or not you believe that that's a conservative agenda, well, that's up to the individual person to decide. But there certainly is evidence to suggest that this is a concerted effort because it's only coming from a handful of people. So, Alan, uh, the, the governor seems to want to have it both ways, though. I mean, he's admitting that uh, there are problems with the original law. He wants to roll it back. But at the same time, he's saying that there are no book bans uh, going on. It's parents that are starting the process of the book ban. Well, that's a little disingenuous on, on his part because he signed the law in, in the first place. And what we've seen over the last couple of years are, are books about Anne Frank and Jackie Robinson and Rosa Parks being, being banned. And there are people, as you mentioned, from other parts of the state who have felt empowered to uh, go object to, 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 uh, to some of these books. And, uh, you know, school boards have been concerned about getting sued and getting into trouble. So, I mean, you know, Mike is right. Uh, if you have a problem with the book, go to your school board. Um, but it, obviously, this needs to be corrected. Mm -hmm. So, Gene, is there a chance it'll be corrected during this session? Do you think that, that the legislature will deal with it this session? I think they'll touch it because the governor wants them to and I think that anything they can do to not deal with the insurance crisis in Florida is going to be something where they can get the headlines and uh, it's just to be a big distraction you know I mean, the governor's right he's not banning anything but he's creating the environment for it he's saying you know you shouldn't have these things and it's up to you to decide if you don't want it or not if, if teachers and school principals and even school boards are saying this law is vague mm -hmm. should the law be retracted entirely should it be rescinded I think so, uh, but I also think that uh, a lot of times when we pass laws in the state, 
it's uh, shoot first, ask questions later. So, you know, we just throw it on the books and see how it works and, uh, you know, let the consequences happen later. Mike, do you think it should be rescinded entirely or just no, I don't. modified? I think it needs to be modified. Uh, we've made, I was a legislator for 19 years. I probably, I, I did. I voted for things that we realized it was, uh, need to be amended maybe a year or two later. This has to happen. I agree with the governor. And again, allow the parents to go see that elected school board member if they have an issue and let that school board member and the, and the, and the board itself make that decision without ha having to be a fearful of, uh, of being sued or something diff something else. And that's always been the case even before this law was enacted. You could always go to your school board and complain. Sure. You know, or your school librarian to complain. That, that is correct. All right.